A-B testing is literally pitting two experiences against each other to see which one is better and which one gets knocked out of the running. A-B testing is the best way to make data-driven decisions because you get causal data. Before I show you more about this exciting world of optimization and A-B testing, you need to first know why it's important to you. If you're a business owner or a digital project manager or a designer or a developer or a copywriter or a researcher, a marketer or a social media expert, then you need to know about A-B testing because it can help you make more money in your job. If you want to get promotions and raises, then A-B testing is the most tangible way to do that. And who doesn't want more money, right? The reason why A-B testing can do this is because it allows you to quantify the changes and know which changes are influencing the bottom line metrics for your business so you know what's making you more money. Okay, let's go back to the world of optimization where A-B testing lives. There it is, this beautiful world of strategy where biases are challenged and winning experiences are found. Let's talk more about what A-B testing is. A-B testing happens on your digital spaces. So your websites, your apps, your social media channels, your emails, your paid advertising. Think of it like digital experimentation. Each test helps you learn which variation is better than the others. In an A-B test, the original page or experience is the control or the A experience, and the challenger is the B experience, which is the new version that you've made to compete against the control. And these two versions are competing with each other to see which one does better for your visitors. Every champion was once a contender who refused to give up. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about being the winning test variation to keep moving forward. So how do you know which of these variations is the winning experience? Even though both of them look extremely good, only one of them can be the winning experience. The best experience is determined by a couple of things. The first is your visitors. They are split and randomly assigned to the A or to the B experience. This randomization helps you avoid sampling bias. Another benefit of A-B testing is these visitors don't know that they're in the test. They don't know they're being tested and so the result is their unbiased behavior. They vote with their behavior. If they don't like the experience, then that experience doesn't win. This absence of bias gives you really good data. Yo, A-B tested! It's the best! Your visitors are on a journey, and the path they take will hopefully lead them to their ultimate goal. You want them where X marks the spot. You want them where the treasure is. Not all treasures, silver and gold, mate. Discovering a winning A-B test variation. Now that's priceless. And your primary metric is the treasure that you want your visitors to get to. If you're a retail company and you're selling things on your site, then your primary metric would be orders or revenue per visitor. If you're trying to get leads, then your primary metric would be signups. For many sites, the primary metric is content consumption or time on site if they're trying to display ads. So the, your ultimate goal is to get your visitors to do more of the thing you want them to do. Whatever your primary metric is, whatever the goal of your site is, you need to determine that before the test is run. Then once you have an, enough data, you can calculate the lift and the confidence to see which of the variations did better than the others. Your lift and confidence numbers will tell you how much better or worse your new variation is and how much you can rely upon that data based on the statistical confidence. This brings us back to how A-B testing can help you personally. If you're looking for that raise or promotion, then you can show how your tests you're running have been able to increase your primary metric and increase the revenue for the business. So why don't businesses just help their visitors get to the treasure? Of course they want to, but they don't always know what their visitors want. In fact, the visitors don't know what they want either most of the time. In the words of Captain Jack Sparrow, the problem is not the problem. The problem is not A-B testing to solve the problem. A-B testing gives the business insight into what leads the visitors down the perfect path to get to the treasure. The journey for your visitors is optimized as you experiment and test everything in the digital experience. You can test the flow between departments and categories and pages. You can test layouts of pages and elements on the page. You can add or remove existing elements to find out if they belong and if they're helping the visitors along the path or if they're hurting the visitors on the path. You can test images, you can test heroes, you can test copy, you can test call to actions. You can even test backend algorithms that are recommending products or content for your visitors. Each tested change that you make will allow you to create this personalized roadmap for your visitors so they're better able to go along that path and complete their journey to find the treasure that you want them to find. It is not a destination so much as a journey. If you want more visitors reaching your primary metric, improve the visitor journey with A-B testing. I can hear you guys now. Was that another Pirates of the Caribbean quote that you modified to be about A-B testing? Yes, it was. The only rules is really matter at ease. What a man can A-B test and what a man can't A-B test. Yet another Jack Sparrow quote. I wanna show you a quick case study so you can see what this looks like in practice. We were working with a company that has a worldwide conference and we wanted to test an image 
that they could use to advertise the conference. We had four different images that we thought might be good for this advertising that we want to do for this worldwide conference. So we decided to put the image in several locations. We put it on the website, we put it on Facebook, we put it on Instagram, and we also wanted to test this in several different languages. So we tested English, Spanish, and Portuguese. And we found after running this test that certain channels did better with certain images and certain audiences. So for English it was one image and for Portuguese it was another. For Spanish it was a different image. So we were able to run this test and get a huge lift and determine exactly the best way that we should do our advertising for this conference coming up. Well that was fun. What's that Jack? You want to say something else? You will always remember this is the day that you got A-B testing. If you enjoyed this video, check out this other video on some of the statistics you'll need to do good A-B testing.